This episode of Let's Knit Together is sponsored by Yarnmarket.com. Fabulous fashions, fast and friendly. Hi there, I'm Kat. Let's knit together. As a knitter, I can't travel on a vacation without making some stops to local yarn shops. This year, Eric and I celebrated our 20th wedding anniversary and we decided to take a vacation to Alaska. We started out in Fairbanks where we boarded a riverboat tour to see the sights. After disembarking, we stopped over at the souvenir shop. I spotted a sign amongst the tchotchkes that caught my attention. We just stopped, got off the riverboat, and I spotted this Kivyut scarf. Isn't that incredible? And it's made with a lace weight. Kivyut yarn. Looks hand-knit. Totally hand-knit. It's on sale. 25% off. On sale. It's... $262 on sale. The headband kit, unknit, is $300. I don't know what to do because I really want to buy this stuff and I don't have the... I don't buy it here. This is a tourist place. It's just overpriced. I, you may not find it anywhere else, but we'll keep looking. Afterwards, we took the bus back to our lodge. I was getting off the bus and the driver complimented me on my scarf and asked if I knitted it. And I said, yes, I did. You must be a knitter, I said to her. And she said, yes. I said, we just saw the Kivyut, but it was at a different shop. And she says, oh, but down the road from the hotel you're staying at is this great store that has Kivyut. And it's called the Alaska Raw Fur Company. We stopped in and looked around. There was an entire table of Kivyut items, including woven and knitted scarves and hats and some headbands. I spied some Kivyut yarn, but they only had colored and I wanted some lace weight and natural. The shop owner, Sandy, said that she had lots in the back and could wind a ball for me. She came out with a gigantic cone of valuable Kivyut. Kivyut from Alaska. It is 100% Kivyut. It's not blended. So it's really warm. And Kivyut is from the fiber of, a musk, of the muskox, which are in uh, Alaska and Canada and Greenland. And this particular yarn is a lace weight, 100% Kivyut. And it is 10 times warmer than cashmere and more luxurious. So I was contacted by a fan of the show. Her name is Patty in Fa from Fairbanks, Alaska. And she told me that they have a knitter's night today. So we're headed over to see the knitters in Fairbanks. Everything I bought fit in a ziplock and then she pulls out one of those huge ziplocks. <laughs> You didn't have this purple bag when you left. What is in here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, you can't right. stuff <laughs> 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 Oh, what's your username? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm a snowbag. <laughs> Actually, I've only known these people for like a year. I mean, we all kind of met through Ravelry, and um, I didn't know anybody else who knit. I don't think any of us really knew each other at all. Well, my friend Andrew actually taught me how to knit, but only to knit, not to purl, not to do anything else. <laughs> and now I'm returning the favor by teaching her how to knit everything else. Do everything else? So fun, yeah. And I discovered how much I really love socks. Cause... So socks are really popular today? Um, they're seeming popular with our group. Yeah, we're, we're definitely a bunch of sock knitters. I, I really would have thought, being in a Alaska, you'd be knitting more sweaters because you'd have occasions to wear them. I think socks are more portable. I mean, it's it's why people love socks. I mean, they're portable. They're relatively fast. And for twenty bucks, you get a you get a whole project. You get a whole project. Whereas buying the yarn for a sweater could cost it's a commitment. You it's a commitment of issue. Hundred bucks. <laughs> So you guys are on a Ravelry group. What's the name of your group? Uh, Fairbanks Fiberistas. And is that how you guys found each other? Um, yeah, there, well, there was, was an Alaska, Alaska group, and so we posted uh, anybody in Fairbanks. And um, you know, it's weird because there is an Alaska group, and they're not very chatty. There's like a soldat and a um, thread on there, but I mean, 
we started like taking over the board and so we were like, we can sort of form our own group and um, well we meet every Wednesday. Um, some place in town. Some place in town, mostly here, especially in the winter time. But we've also been known to branch out to um, Zach's bar. Yep. A lot of, in the summertime we knit on a lot, a lot of, of decks. decks. We go to all the, so Pikes and Princess, yeah. but mainly Alaska Coffee Roasting Company just because it's got desserts and drinks and somebody, and they're very knitter friendly. Yeah. They actually come, you know, when we come on Wednesday, they're all, oh hey, how's it going? And, this is a pretty big group too. Yeah. Oh, we've had, um, we've had 25, 25 or 30 at one time, and we kind of like take over this whole area. And we've had um, visitors from all over. I mean, we've had people visiting from Colorado and folks like you guys that just come and find out about our group. There was the one girl from Peru that was knitting with us for a couple months. We went to Sock Summit. That's right. And uh, we actually met somebody down there who's from Fairbanks who can never make our meetups, and that was just that was really cool. It was a shame we had to go to Portland just to meet somebody from Fairbanks. <laughs> we do a lot of knit alongs where we'll pick a certain sock or a certain pattern or like we just got done doing the girasol which is like the big circular pattern by Jared Flood and like there was like nine or ten of us that all knit it together and we you know would comment on oh I'm on this chart and oh I've got four more rows to go and we're all cheering each other on. Oh thank god I'm done. Thank god. Which was great too because if any one of us ran into a problem, you've got eight other people right here, you know, in your community that are doing it. Whereas doing it on a knit along board with Ravelry, it's not the same. I mean, actually see other people doing it. Yeah. So you're somewhat of an addicted knitter, such that you've even got a display on your body. Yeah. Could you tell us about that? Um, I got a knitting tattoo, oh gosh, when was it, a couple Novembers ago, maybe three years ago now? Wow. Um, what, what, uh, what brought you to that? You know, it was something that I knew I would never stop falling in love with. Like, I really debated about getting a knitting tattoo for a long time because, I mean, people get tattoos about stuff they like all the time and then, you know, three years down the road it's like old news but um, so it was a long time really debating about what kind of knitting tattoo I wanted and um, wanted it to be really traditional and kind of like the old-fashioned sailor tattoos with um, the swallows and the and the big ribbon yeah I just uh, it's my favorite tattoo and I and I still love it so, so you, you would choose to do this before a lover <laughs> oh, that's easy. no comment <laughs> Well, when I start bringing, well, I, I laugh because I knit in bed. <laughs> like, and yeah, Bill's like, can we turn off the lights now? I'm like, oh, one more row, one more row. <laughs> You, you brought knitting into yes. your relationship. I think that's one thing and very different about us is that I brought knitting into the relationship. Monica's been with her boyfriend for like 15, 14 years. 15 years, but I've only been knitting for four, and so he doesn't have the same tolerance and patience and understanding as her boyfriend does. Mine's like, stop doing that. It makes me think you're like 80 years old. I want to get you a rocking chair. It's, you know, and, and it's like, no, I'm knitting sexy. And he doesn't buy it. When you say, oh, I'm going to go knit with the girls, it's like we're all just sitting there knitting and it's like we're not talking not talking at all <laughs> and I'm like no no you have no idea we're horrible we, we scare the raunchiest away. group in town <laughs> yeah. and it's, yeah, and it's not yeah. like us young ones oh, are the no no not at all <laughs> I think we're like the calmest ones <laughs> Our next live show is scheduled for Saturday, November 28th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Go to let's knit together.com slash live for details. This month's knit along is a charity project. Some of us are knitting squares for a children's Afghan to donate to Afghan for Afghans. If you want to participate in this project or a charity project on your own, join us on the Let's Knit Together Ravelers group on Ravelry. Last month, I had the opportunity to visit Yarn Market headquarters in Pickerington, Ohio. They were a premier online retail store for knitters, designers, and crafters. When I was there, I met Deborah and Alex and got a chance to see their warehouse with all their inventory for Yarn Market and Bargain Yarns. Everything was so neat and organized. I wish I could get my stash organized like their warehouse. I also saw their beautiful showroom where guests are invited to stop in and see all the items they have in stock in a beautiful homey atmosphere. It was so nice to see the real people behind one of my favorite websites. Visit our sponsor online at yarnmarket.com. Thanks to everyone who commented on episode 59 with why you have or haven't entered your knitting in a competition. And now, the winner of this beautiful mini mochi yarn is 
Lauren Thompson, a.k.a. Laureate Knits on Ravelry. We'll get this yarn out to you right away. Be seeing you.